is up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Taratro, back at it again. Gonna hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I'm not currently accepting any personals, but you're more than welcome to go over to my Etsy spiritual shop. The link is in the description box below. We're just gonna go ahead and jump in and give y'all a little quick message for the day. I like what I'm seeing for the energy. Like, I'm feeling like you're being forced to be patient in a situation, okay? Um... I definitely feel like you're being forced, you're, you're literally being forced to be patient. Um, I feel like you're ready for something to happen like yesterday. And like, you're just like, I feel like it's something that you know is coming. It's like you feel it's right around the bend or you feel that it's right there, but it just hasn't manifested fully. Um, I feel like you're being forced to like sit still in this energy. And I feel like I heard ants in my pants. So it's like you're getting really like not squeamish, but you're getting really, um, you're just getting really antsy. You're wanting some motion. You're wanting some movement and everything feels like it's at a standstill right now. That's the energy you're in for today. Okay. But it's like, it's just because you know how big the reward is. that's right around the corner. I'm definitely feeling that you are, <laughs> you've been ready for something to move, but it's like, I feel like you're also, um, creating some form of anxiety around the situation. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and read this car, this energy deck. I was like, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Okay. Spirit saying to pull your energy back and start focusing more so on what you what you, what's lacking in the situation and just focus on what feels good in this time, okay? Because what's not seen underneath it was also when I lean towards love, I am led. I feel like if you were wanting some kind of answers in a situation or wanting something to materialize in a different way, in a better way, you've got to lighten the energy around what it is that you're seeking. Okay, because I'm definitely feeling that there's some there's there's some shit that you're having to work through and it's like you're having to focus on what feels good and stay in that vibration to not get pulled down and to be in more delays. Okay, because I see there's some bullshit around the bend. I'm just letting you know, like as far as like what's what I'm seeing as far as the cards I pulled, I pulled police, black widow. Results are in drama, plans, and frenemy. Those were the main cards that got pulled out for the energies that I'm seeing. And I'm just like, oh my God, what the fuck are we doing here? Okay. So, as far as drama and frenemy being lit up in blue, I'm feeling like um, there's some communication around this. I feel like this person, like there was a frenemy that you were dealing with, somebody who may pretend to be doing things your way or that they, you know, changed plans. Like, I feel like you might have come to an agreement with this person or changed plans in some way or went in a different direction. Um, I feel like this person is getting, like, police are her busted. So, I feel like somebody is, like, like a, I feel like a third party is coming into a situation and causing someone with really fucked up energy to... They're not only exposing their true nature, but I feel, look, I heard it squashed. Like, I feel like this is a very toxic individual and they go through partners. Like, I feel like they, they switch partners a lot or they switch them frequently. Okay. Um, I am getting that this is somebody that you've had to either work with or that you have put some kind of, like, there's something that you've had to share with this person. Okay. But I feel like. Um, they were doing something underhanded, all right? Uh, for some of you, if there was any kind of exchange with any kind of narcotics, you need to watch, watch your shit because this is the type of person who is wanting you to get caught up, okay? Um, I'm definitely feeling that. I don't know. Girl, what the fuck? Okay, so, and then ambulance. That ain't even supposed to be in this deck. I did not shovel this and I don't, it just randomly come out ambulance. Um, so I'm just ma I'm just seeing flashing lights, especially going on with that police. What I said, um, if you are dealing in, de dealing with any kind of narcotics, be very careful with this person, this individual, because I feel like they may be trying to get you caught up in a situation um, to where they can, you know, use it in the future or to 
to just to make you look bad somebody's really wanting to make you look bad in this time it's like they know how you do things or they they know that you may you know smoke a little pot every now and again they're wanting you to get caught up in that they're wanting you to get exposed okay I feel like spirit's definitely saying be very be mindful if you are driving around that you don't have some shit in your car because you know i am getting that energy of somebody trying to like a setup okay and then with this other card coming out, Azaka, it just feels like you're you're trying to stay in this higher vibration, you know, focusing on your look land, focusing on what is yours, staying in your own lane, not worrying about other people. But I definitely feel the vibe of somebody like that friend of me. They're wanting. They're, it's like they feel like you've got things too good, okay? And they're wanting something to come in and possibly throw you off balance. Actually, they definitely do. They're like lurking around the corner. It's like if you've got a, um, for some of you, you're actually in a relationship and I feel like you may have like a power relationship going on. Um, they see that and it's like they wonder why they don't have it, it but it's like they also aren't the type that are willing to put in the work. I feel like this is an individual who is used to, um, scheming. I'm getting scheming, scams, scheming. They're just lower vibrational, and I feel like this person is, they want to come up, but they're willing to take yours if they can get get it that way. Like, they're not, they're not going to put in work, work to get something that it is that they want. They're willing to take from, like, a taker. Like, I'm, I'm just getting taking energy. It's somebody who's willing to take from someone else to acquire a certain status or to acquire something. Okay, I am getting theft in this time. Um, I feel like Spirit's definitely saying keep your doors locked. Keep your, um, pay attention to your vehicles in this time, okay? Like, I, I just, I'm, I'm getting, like, especially if you're, at, like, at work, I would park near the cameras, all right? Because I'm definitely feeling that there's somebody who is plotting. There's somebody who's freaking plotting on you in this time. And it's really, that's annoying as fuck, okay? Let's see what else we got. And it's just because, like, your ships are finally coming in, all right? Like, I feel like you're you're steady, put, like, being patient, putting, you know, the work in. I know you're tired of being patient, but you know what's right around the corner for you. Um, and I feel like with my side, it makes me feel like it's going to be something. It's it, Like, I feel like you're getting, like, your ships are coming in, and they're going to be bigger than what you even expect. Um, I'm getting wishes, wishes, wishes coming true. All right. Almost like you're rubbing on a magic lamp. I almost feel like there's really nothing that can um, stop the flow of what is coming to you. Okay. I feel like there is somebody who is trying to, but if, only, if the only thing that this person is really doing is throwing up roadblocks and delays. Like, it's not like you're going to keep going in that same direction. I feel like you're changing direction, but you're seeing, like, you're completely aware of a certain individuals like plotting on you, okay so I, I get that you are looking for other directions to go i feel like you're making plans <laughs> i heard making a list and checking it twice okay um i do feel like you are actually some of you are actually categorizing like your friends list i feel like um, you're not completely cutting everybody off, but you're learning how to deal with certain individuals, okay? I feel like you are starting to deal with people differently. It's like um, those those people who um, use you or you, you already are aware that they're that type of individual. I feel like, you know, you're not going, you're not letting them be aware of the fact that you're using, like, I'm not going to say you're using them, but I mean, you're, you're treating people how they treat you. Okay, I definitely feel like you're treating people how they treat you in this time. Okay, and I am getting there. Somebody who does not like that and is wanting to stir up drama because they're used to getting a certain, I heard, level of respect from you. So this could be somebody who you used to have respect for, but I feel like there's something, there's something like changing drastically with that. Okay, I feel like you're seeing this person for who they truly are. With the Black Widow, don't they eat? I feel like they eat their mates. Like, they mate and then eat them. But I, for what I know about a Black Widow is these motherfuckers are aggressive. Like, um, 
very aggressive. So I feel like you may also be hearing about someone who is getting arrested for aggressive behavior. Um, I feel like something definitely backfired on some like possession. Woo. Simbi. Yeah, something definitely backfired. I am getting a backfire of um, spell work. Okay. Drama, frenemy, plans, and like aggressive. I feel like somebody was trying to get something to happen. Okay. I feel like they were wanting to literally possess someone. All right. To look hurt, have their soul with that. Like, what the hell? Somebody was really wanting to be in complete control of a situation or possibly, I almost feel like this is an individual, if for some of you this is a female who was doing the spiritual work, all right, she was literally wanting to possess a male, but I feel like she's almost done this or, you know, this could be, you know, take it how, how, take it how it resonates, but I feel like it's someone who was trying to put a whole bunch of like love spells on a whole bunch of different individuals like a whole bunch of different guys okay or you know or females whatever but it's like i feel like something's backfiring in this time like i feel like like either the males are becoming aggressive or just things are getting out of hand for this person i am getting the um the energy of this person's done so much that it's starting to blow up in their face and things are becoming more aggressive um for some oh gosh like i feel like there there's a message in regards to somebody um i saw somebody go through someone's phone that's what i'm looking at somebody's going through somebody's phone um and uncovering hidden messages or hidden pictures okay and I feel like this person is becoming incredibly aggressive. Somebody's getting put in the hospital and somebody's going to jail. All right. But I feel like there's like, like this is, this is an incredibly aggressive. And I feel like it's at, at somebody's house. All right. Um, this, I feel like this, I don't even feel like this is for you. I feel like this is your, something you're going to be hearing about. And I feel like it might possibly be with this friend of me. Okay, like I'm getting a backfiring of plans and things are having to change. You may, this friend of me, you may have some kind of financial tie with them. Okay, and so that's how you end up hearing about what is going on. Okay, um, I feel like this person has reached a crossroads with the situation. Okay, and I feel like they're going to possibly be trying to reach out to you. Okay, but I, I definitely feel like... Like, they're going to be trying to reach out to you for some kind of help and assistance. But it's like, it's something that they brought on themselves. It's like they were sitting here trying to throw tricks and, and like, illusions. Look, they were doing a lot of dark shit. Whoever this was, was doing a lot of dark shit. I was like, I don't want to keep giving this message, but it's like, I'm seeing it. This person was doing a lot of, a lot of fucked up shit like i feel like going into other people's dr like literally dream hopping um trying to stir up anxieties within individuals and i feel like they're basically like i feel like they're getting busted in this time for some of you that they were affecting you you were aware of this person dream hop and it's like you know all about that shit so it wasn't affecting you in the way that they had hoped okay For some of you, this is the same sex shit, but for others of you, like, I just really feel like they were trying to stir up insecurities in regards to a relationship. They were trying to throw chicks, but I feel like it's definitely backfiring in this time on this person, okay? And I feel like somebody's definitely becoming aggressive, and things are not going the way that this person had hoped, Mm hmm I'm definitely feeling like this person is like, they're watching you, they're watching you rise, they're watching you grow, they don't like the fact that you're getting it, what it is that you, you're wanting, it's like, I feel like this person has continued to try to send stuff your way, or like, has tried to influence 
I want to say Carnival cut it in half, Carnival. This person's been freaking spying on you. This person's been spying on you. Whether it's through, you know, tarot, um, reaching out to your friends. I just, I just definitely feel like this person has been fucking spying on you. And they're becoming really upset that they are not, um, being able to affect some kind of, like, the happiness that you are experiencing. Yeah, they're becoming upset. Like, I'm seeing a lot of fire here. Um... I heard fire starter, which I hope that's where I'm going to go with that. Um, but I'm definitely see. Okay. Dr. John Ogun. I'm seeing a whole lot of fire here. So, I'm, I'm just going to give this one quick and not even go. Because I don't want to even go into depth with this one. But I feel like I keep getting shit starter, fire starter. Uh, I feel like there may be a situation where you hear about this person becoming so irate. Like, I'm like arson. I'm hearing arson. Okay. Um, I feel like this person, yeah, it's something you're going to be hearing about. This isn't, this is not necessarily, look, you sitting here minding your own business, working, you know, trying to stay out of the gossip, but the gossip's about to make its way back to you. There is like a serious situation going on in this time with, um, this individual who has been trying to stir up drama in your life, possibly a friend of me or somebody that you've had to deal with, um, like, Things are about to change. I feel like there's going to be a change. I heard change in paperwork. Okay. So, look. If this person was working with you, I don't feel like they're going to be working with you much longer. Um, but I'm, I am getting arson. And I feel like this person, like, it's like they're not getting what they want. And they're starting to act um, out of character. I rate. I am seeing someone um, institutionalized. Um, not necessarily um, jail. Some of them it will be jail, but for, for for this other individual, I'm seeing somebody have a like serious, like they're having a serious mental breakdown. I feel like this person has done too much, okay? Has been involved in too much. And they are literally, like, I feel, what is it, what is it called? When you're, like, I don't know why I drew a blank. It's like when they're, like, crazy, going to a crazy house. I don't, I don't know what you would call that, but... Okay, it's like your ship's coming in. Okay, so this is literally what's about to happen. Um, prediction. You're about like the second that the ship comes in for you that you have been waiting on, you're going to see a friend of me literally lose it because of what it is that you gain. It's like it's not that you're trying to put it in someone's face, but they're going to see it. They're not, it's like it's like the ship's too big for them not to see. Okay, and I feel like this person has definitely like They've shit talked so much. They've told so many people so much shit about you. But, like, once this ship comes in, like, it's right around the corner. Once it comes in, this person is not, like, I feel like they're not only going to have to eat their words. It's going to make them go literally crazy um, because of what you end up getting. It's like they wanted what you had, and they were trying to come in and get what you had, okay? Like, when I was saying theft, they were trying to steal from you. Okay, they were trying to delay you getting to this. It's almost like this person sensed that this was coming for you. Um, or they, you know, they might have had somebody looking into your future and they were trying to block this huge um, blessing that was coming your way. Okay, but it's like this person couldn't block it. All they did was possibly slowed it down. But I feel like the second that this person, this comes in, you are going to see this person literally start acting not necessarily acting out of character because this is who this person truly was, but I feel like they're going to literally um, go crazy and you're going to hear about either them being institutionalized through a, a mental institution or a jail because this person can't handle the level of success that you've actually come into because they were doing everything in their power to stop it. But, look, they, they didn't stop shit. The only thing they did was slow the shit down. Um, Spirit's definitely telling you in this time, just focus on, you know... The things that make you happy. I just get like the thing, whatever it is that makes you happy, don't stay in the state of illusion that this person has been trying to push onto you. Okay? Because that's what's holding you back. That state of illusion is what's holding you back from this this massive ship that's like on its way to you. Like it's not even that's on it's like right there. It's right there. And the second that you stop thinking about it, that's when it's gonna hit. Anyways, that's you guys' message. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.